Hi, this is Lisa Mercedes. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, I wanted to do a different kind of video, not me moving and stretching, because I want to be clear on where do I start. Well, I always have been a mover. I started movement. I started dancing. And now I'm reaching movement to the to a other level. Like I don't have to compete anymore. Like before at school was like I hope that my teachers always saw me. Like am I good enough? With with dancing, sometimes it can be in that way that you're looking for somebody that tells you you're good enough. What I like about my teachers that they never said it. I think because they were like really professional in that kind of way. Still, I was looking for that answer. And now I realize that it's not for them, but it's for you. I think um, before the pandemic, because then everything stopped. And I think that a lot of people had the same question and what now? Who am I? Who am I if I cannot do what I'm doing? Realizing that dancing is your passion. Yeah. I moved to Spain a year ago because before that, in the summer, I had a um, burnout i never heard about a burnout before i was like shaking in my bed and i had three classes to give yeah i was shaking so i i realized that i couldn't do the class so i i, I called my boss and i told him like hey my body cannot do it you know i'm sorry i want to i really want to i was crying i remember like the frustration was there, like, not again, what is this, is this uh, an injury or because my, my lower back gets like really stuck. Then my mother told me, yeah Lisa, you have a burnout and I'm like, what? Like, what the hell is that? What are you talking about? That cannot happen to me. And then I realized because I stopped everything, I fucking realized that I had a burnout. And the funny thing about that is that a burnout is because you realize too late that you did too much. I think I'm a queen of that. <laughs> I'm, I'm maybe one of an example that, that can learn to slow down. And that is what I did in Spain this year slow down and try to not compare myself to anything that is doing better or being more successful than me because my body was asking for some rest and I gave it. I still have days that my body is out of the game and realizing that or accepting that it's so freaking hard that you learn so much about it and I'm grateful for that because dancing is awareness and being aware of also parts that you cannot reach yet can help you to not overtrain yourself you know what I mean so no ego, no over pushing, but also the other way around. Don't be lazy. Your body is lazy. Like we are lazy. That's like, we want to be comfortable. We want to sit. If we get in a subway, we want to sit. But I try to, to use my imagination, you know? Like when I'm in a subway and standing, I try to or even I had a shitty job here as a waitress 
with no with no customers and I was standing all day and doing nothing just wiping the bar and hoping for some customers yeah using your imagination I try always to connect to my lower body to my hip because my hips always like over rotate the back like this and try to put them straight again it's something really small but it helps so much. Maybe in that eight hours that I'm working, but in that eight hours I could work my posture, you know? Being straight, activate some muscles, relax other muscles. I think it's all about the mindset. After all, life gives you ups and downs. So you learn about them and using them better. I really wanna perform again. I'm fucking almost crying if I say that. When I was younger, I always, when I always wanted to perform because I could push myself to the limit and see if I could, if I had a good workout, I could reach that limit and show it to the audience to inspire other people to do the same. You know, I always told my ladies, my show team, I always told them. They will always judge you, <laughs> but try to inspire that. Try only to inspire that person that wants to move like you, you know. To give them that smile. To enjoy the process of you're rocking the stage. <laughs> That's so nice. Yeah, and why all that? Why we want to share? motivates me to have students in my class when I say something I see twinkles in their eyes and they really want to learn and at some point because I had that burnout I didn't feel like teaching anymore because if I was not the good example how could I be in front of the group you know so I had to take a step back and that was okay for me I hope I will get back to that. Yeah, I want to continue those, uh, I don't know how many <laughs> videos I still have yeah, to YouTube. But I want to continue the videos to, to process my injury, to get better, to listen. I want to continue with the videos like it's a performing. Sorry for that. <laughs> yeah, I want to continue with the videos for myself, but also for to show the world that it's not impossible. If you really want it, you can do it. With injuries, no injuries. If you really want it, you can do it. I just want to show you the process. And I want to show you what I will eat, what I'm eating. I will show you uh, just my log, log, logbook, logbook, I don't know the word in English, I hope you like it, and see you, see you around, yeah?